Yeah, so my name is Gabe Crispin. I'm the owner of Spalding Decon Nash, the Spalding Decon territory here in Nashville. A week ago today, I got a call from Rosemary, and basically I got the very skinny of what happened, which was someone broke in, there was blood, it was a crime scene, and I needed to come clean it up. And I get calls like that kind of all the time being in this uh, industry. I won't get into the details because she's much better at, at obviously, because she was the, the victim in this circumstance, so I'll let her kind of go into the details, but that's that's what I knew and what I knew pulling up to the to the scene, so. And I'm Rosemary, I guess that, that would be the victim. And, and <laughs> I, I, um, I was sleeping in my bed around 3 a.m. last week, a week ago, um, and this man busted through my window, totally random man, um, yelling at me about a bomb, and um, he got in my bed, and, like, all bloody, um, yelling at me, wouldn't get off me, so. So he broke in head first through here, was rolling around on the ground going, oh, you know, kind of moaning because he's bleeding a lot now. And then he comes up and he jumps on onto my bed and I'm sleeping here naked and he gets on top of me. And then I just start sc like screaming and kicking. It woke, woke his girlfriend up, who woke him up, and then he came in. Um, yeah, you want to continue, Ash? Yeah, so I'm Ash Wilson. And I guess I'm the hero. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> um, so my girlfriend just like tapped me and I just heard Rosemary screaming and ran out of the room in my underwear, busted the door down and was just like, what the fuck's going on? And started yelling at this dude. And he wasn't moving or responding to anything I was saying at first. So then I just started wailing on him. Ash comes in through that door across the hall, gets him. She was still on the bed initially, so I just like came over here and like started grappling with him and like punching him. And then she got away and like out the door and there was like light actually coming in. And I kind of got a look at him and then it was just kind of like wrestling around with him on the bed. And then he fell in that corner down there and he kind of started belligerently moving around. And the closest thing to me at the time <laughs> was the magic wand, which was laying on the floor. And I hit him a couple good times with it and got him out of the house. <laughs> and the police did the rest, you know? So the magic wand, like, created him, like, calmed him down enough so where he was like, okay, I get it, I'm done, and he left. Yeah, like, so I picked it up and just started hitting him in that corner and, like, trying to pull him out. And then he jumped back on the bed, and I had to, like, hit him a couple more times. I was like, get the fuck off the bed, you know? Like... So I put him in a full Nelson and just like walked out the door after that. <laughs> and it's like a really expensive product. So it's like funny while he's doing it, like in the, while I'm in shock, like, oh my God, I'm we're all covered in blood. I was thinking like, like, Ash, that's too expensive. Can you use something else? But then I was like, oh no, stop. You saved my life. Just let him do it. And it's yeah, it a, was that, super durable. That thing is heavy and durable. <laughs> did the trick. Did the trick. So you said he was, um, so the highway's right here, right? And there was an explosion, like a semi-truck blew up. And that's what he was trying to warn you about or something like that? Yeah, so there was a semi that blew up that caused a really big explosion that woke us all up. And and he was probably under the influence, or definitely was under the influence of drugs. And he was convinced that was a bomb. And okay. he was trying to warn us, and he was very angry at us that we weren't listening, that he was going to save our life. And he ran out, jumped the fence, and fell into our neighbor's trash can. And they found, the police found him in the trash can. So that's oh my God. Yeah. yeah. After getting beat up with the vibrator, he was in the trash can. Yeah, he's got a quiet story for, for jail. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. What, what are you in for? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what, what was the air like, like when he left the house, were you guys just kind of silent and just kind of looked at each other and just like, yeah, well, it was total shell shock. Like <laughs> it was just like we just sat on the ground, just staring at my room, all bloody. Like yeah, and then the cops came. Did you call the cops immediately, or did it take you a sec to? Yeah, no, my girlfriend like called the cops as soon as I ran out of the room and was just like hiding in our wardrobe um, until I came back, and then she was like, "Yeah, the police are on the way," and they rolled up like as soon as soon as it was over. Honestly, yeah. That's a new level of friendship when you save your friend with 
with a vibrator from a, a intruder. That's a it is. You're closer after that. You are much closer. <laughs> trauma bonded. Trauma, we're trauma bonded. Yeah, for real. That's right. So was he bloody from breaking through the window? Mm -hmm. like, so yeah. he he just like shattered through the window. Or like, how did he break through? Did he like punch through Dude, it or something? There or? was literally nothing moved in front of the window on the porch. There's like a chair, a table with a bunch of our like glasses, drinking glasses and like plant potters and shit. And none of it was moved. So he would have had to have like head first like dove, dove into this oh, window. Wow. Like, like like thinking there was bomb dove. And there he, he's on a lot of ring footage in the area from before it just like falling off porches and he was gonna get in somewhere. So he found somewhere to get in, I guess. Yeah. Have you seen him before? Like just around before, before that yeah. happened? Yeah random guy like seven time convicted felon like, really he was just over here yeah yeah we'd never seen him before mm. wow R roughly like how old was he oh i think i know how old he is now actually i think he's like er early 30s oh wow so, so it wasn't even like a senile like old guy no, no. he was young completely I, I thought it was one of them i thought oh, it was really? one of other roommates i thought someone had a good night and then oh my god they're falling through my window yeah and then i was like that is not one of my roommates and that it was yeah and they thought we had a gun because of how bad his puncture wound was they were like where's the gun and it was just the glass so was yeah. he just bleeding all over you then is yeah that, oh that's yeah so scary and just gross. like really scary covered in his blood like, he is covered like, up to my elbows and all my legs because I was in my underwear. So like, because you pulled him out. Yeah, yeah, I was like wrestling with him, so he was just bleeding all over me. It was not good. Still got to go get tested. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah That's not bad. Idea. When, when you were uh, beating the shit out of him, like, was was he? Did it almost seem like you know, like when people are on like meth or, or like bath salts and shit, Dude. they just like can't feel pain? Was, yeah, was it, it like was that? some total like PCP type. Wow. methed out zombie mode yeah because i was like thwacking this dude in the head with the vibrator just over and over you know just like get the fuck out get the fuck out and he was just incoherently swinging and like did he hit you? In, in, yeah i mean he would, like hit me back a couple times but he was damn uh, i caught him pretty good like off yeah. guard you know and it was also dark in the room. Every this all happened in <laughs> black, black darkness because I didn't think to turn the lights on. Right, well, and, and you just woke up, so you're probably groggy. Yeah, adrenaline. No, I've been at the bar you. all night because mm. I work at a bar down the street, and I was going to bed. Finally, you know yeah. what I mean. What time was this at? Like three in the morning. Yeah, okay. like maybe like two forty-five, three. Oh, and the cat, and the cat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And our cat, Gabby, came in and jumped on his back and was really? attacking him, yeah. You had a guard cat. Yeah. yeah. She got me a couple times, too, but she went crazy on this dude. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Guard cat and guard vibrator. Yeah. Day. And guard ash. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. I've never heard a cat doing that. Right? No, yeah. me neither. That's and she's that's like, cool. that's like a movie. Yeah. The most lame cat, too, will just only, like, <laughs> eat food and sleep. Never does anything. And yeah. She went black water. Water. She's been training, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At that gym right there. Yeah. She's like, yeah, she's like in the back room, has a picture of this guy. Just, yeah. <laughs> she's like, my time's coming. I'm going to get this dude. <laughs> she's like, well, I'm waiting for this. <laughs> my time has come. When, when it was going down, like, I mean, did you even have time to think? Like, were you, were you, were you at any point, like, I, I don't know if this is gonna work or did you know like oh yeah i got this guy like what, what was going through your head no i literally didn't think at all i just ran into the room i mean i didn't know if he had a weapon or anything but i mean i just woke up out of sleep and her screams were so blood curdling that i was like i gotta get there now and then i don't know once i got in there it kind of just instinct like animal <laughs> instinct yeah, kicked yeah. in and i just For sure man. i mean he was about the same size as me so it was completely doable yeah. under the circumstances but yeah i didn't think about it at all yeah. i just kind of did dude he was super slippery you know just <laughs> yeah he super was sweaty so and bloody it was super weird. so sweaty and bloody oh, oh so gross that how, how have you guys been doing afterwards like are you I mean, I, I know you're traumatized. Like that's that's terrible. It's horrible. Like, what's uh, how you want to stay in this house? You want to get out of here? Or like, what, what are you doing moving forward? Um, I think it's like we can realize what, what it was a freak accident, and it's not our neighborhood, and that guy we've never even seen him around, and he was gonna get in somewhere, and it happened to be our house. I think that we're good staying here. Definitely traumatized. I definitely just slept in my bed for the first time a night ago, just because it's like 
freaky freaky in there. But, that's yeah. that's good to hear. I, I don't want you to think that we're downplaying it all by laughing at the circumstances because it is serious what you went through. Yeah. And we're obviously very happy that, you know, it ended well and or as well as it could and, and you're okay and you're okay and everybody else in the house is okay and, and even he's okay, you know, I mean it's still a life, although he was definitely at fault here. Yeah. Um, so yeah, don't I, I we're that's the, that was our main concern, make sure everybody's okay. And uh, we're glad we could get here and, and help out with that stuff too. It's helpful that there's something to laugh at. Thank God. Yeah. Because otherwise, it would just be a real sad thing. So. So now, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. Honestly, <laughs> the initial two days after was really rough, just because so much adrenaline and shock just wasn't going to sleep and like you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just chilling a lot, trying to like wind down, but not being able to. At all. And um, I don't know. Now that there's time between like the event and what I'm doing now, like I just got straight back to working and back to my life. So it's back to like worrying about that shit and not someone randomly breaking into our house. Some form of normalcy, at least. Yeah. yeah. After that, and I've told the story so many times. Oh yeah. So many people so at this done. point. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man. You got to find him a little bit. For years to come. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Never get old. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. People so. were really good too. People were really kind, like helping me replace all the stuff because I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, so people are on a new bed now or sleep in that bed again. So people <laughs> yeah. were good. People were really kind and like supportive community wise. That's good. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. And I was very glad that I did not have to touch any of the nasty stuff. Thank you, Spalding Decon. That's right. I did not touch any of that nasty stuff. And look at this. Can you even see any blood on here? This oh, it's on this rug? Yeah. Um, can you see any blood over here? No, it's Gabe's can handiwork. You, can you see any glass on the ground? No. No, no you cannot. No, you cannot. <laughs> some on the wall over there. Mm -hmm. That's gone. There was some on the wood floor. And a little bit on the carpet and over there by the window. Definitely didn't want to look at that any second longer. Right, exactly. But then you guys were here as soon as you could be the next morning when it was like, okay, the rest of it. Uh, yeah. The weird, actually it was a fur coat that was on the floor that soft up. I'm realizing now a lot of that blood. It was on the floor? Yeah, there's a fur coat yeah. on the floor that we threw away, but it, saw, it he fell onto that and it just it was a sponge of yeah. the rest of it. Yeah, that's, yeah. Because I think he called me that morning, like 1030 or so. Mm -hmm. I think I was here around 1230, a couple hours later. Yeah, and then it was like, and then it was done so yep. fast, so quick. Yep. Didn't even have to think about it. Yeah, and so speaking about, I want to make sure we mention this, speaking about he, the community being good and reaching out, <laughs> the, okay. the Magic Wand Company has graciously reached out and uh, provided, uh, is not only going to replace the Magic Wand, we're also going to send magic wands for anybody in the home that was affected and also any of the employees that worked on the job. So shout out to that company. They've been more than uh, gracious in their efforts to, to help out and replace. And, and they're happy that the, the story ended the way it did with no serious injuries. And, and hopefully that they can provide a little bit of happiness moving forward and, you know, turn this into not a, a horrible situation, maybe make it a little bit better. So yeah. thank you to, to, yeah. to the magic wand company. Thank you. Yes. Magic wand. Thank you. Yeah. I love yeah. that company. I love, I love you before you say my life. Yeah. Best weapon on the market. <laughs> exactly, man. Yeah, Ash, you gotta you gotta look into starting some like self defense classes based around <laughs> the uh, the magic yeah. wand technique. If they could uh, make me a custom nunchuck set, oh, okay. <laughs> that's great. I'd there you be, go. I'd be forever grateful. You know, like that'd be sick. Yeah. Really but they sick. still work as a vibrator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's <you> great. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Well, you heard it here. Magic wand. Make it happen. Yeah, your time's up. Come on. Yeah. Balls in your court, magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys letting us come and do this. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, it was, thank uh, you guys for cleaning up the... Yeah, thank you for cleaning up this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah that, that's, that's our job. Just, that's why we're here. At the end of the day, I think everyone in this room did their job. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Taking and care of The business. magic wand's yeah. not in the room, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>